Mom gives kids candy, then realizes mistake. Emily is frozen in her tracks. This had to be a joke, right? She looks at her children's faces, and her heart breaks. Their faces were as pale as an eerie ghost, and their eyelids fluttered like a leaf in the wind. Was she the world's worst mom? It was a mistake though. She never meant for this to happen. She thought it was some candy, but this was far from candy. There was no coming back from this. For Emily Masinjo, there was nothing she loved more than being a mom. She had three kids, and like most mothers, her kids were the apple of her eye. After being told her chance of having children was pretty low, Emily was amazed to get pregnant not only once but three times. It seemed like Emily defied all odds against her. But this devoted mom had no idea her world was about to turn upside down. You see Emily was a single parent. It was hard at times, trying to balance work with raising three kids, but Emily managed to do it. Thankfully, her work was understanding when it came to her kids. They knew what a struggle it was for Emily. But one day, everything changed for Emily and nothing was the same again. One day, day, Emily visited her local supermarket to stock up on food and lunches, ready for the kids' winter break the following week. As she browsed the aisles, carefully selecting the correct foods for her kids, suddenly she saw something on the shelf. It was candy, but it was candy that Emily had never seen before. Being a mom for 11 years Emily could distinguish candy by just the packaging. She had become a confectionery connoisseur. But she had never seen this candy before. It was zombie candy, and despite the ghoulish characters on the packet, Emily knew her kids would love it. She smiled to herself and threw the candy into her trolley. She had no idea at the time, but this candy was about to turn her world upside down. A week had passed and Emily's kids were off school on their winter break. It was going to be hard, trying to keep her kids occupied while she attempted to do work, but Emily had everything planned. She planned the week to a T, she was going to switch between work and her kids every hour and a half. However, there was one thing that Emily never planned to happen. It was a late afternoon, and Emily's eldest child Douglas was getting restless, proclaiming he was bored and hungry. Emily was halfway through her work, and she could feel the pressure pile on. She had a ton of work to do, but she couldn't get it done with her kids being naughty. She went downstairs and reached for a tub of candy. But she was soon going to regret doing this. Here have this Emily said before handing her kids the zombie candy she bought from the supermarket. The kids looked at the candy, curious about its color and shape. It was sticky, but it smelled delicious, so they chucked them back into their mouths. But what would their reaction be? Emily's three children swallowed the candy and let out a smile. MMM, delicious. Said Shauna, Emily's seven-year-old. More, more, more. Yelled out, Douglas. I'm glad you like them said Emily with a smile. She gave her kids more of the candy and they over the moon. But things were about to get strange. The zombie candy had gone down a treat with her kids. The following few days, like clockwork, Emily's kids asked for the zombie candy straight after their dinner. Emily was hesitant at first, but her kids deserved a treat. So she gave it to them, but she would soon find out she shouldn't have. A few days later Emily's kids were complaining of headaches and stomach pain. What was going on? Emily felt their forehead, but they had no fever. What was wrong with them? Emily would soon find out the answer, and it would leave her lost for words. Emily started to worry, so she made a note of everything they had eaten the past week. There was nothing unusual on there, apart from the zombie candy she gave them. She just wanted her kids to get better, to go back to the cheeky and cheerful selves they are. Emily went to retrieve some medicine from her cupboard. She reaches in, but then suddenly, she saw it, the zombie candy. This candy couldn't be the reason for her children's sudden change in behavior, right? Emily was stumped. It was just candy, right? She picked up the candy and looked at the packaging, and a terrible feeling hit the pit of her stomach. Emily was frozen in her tracks as she read the ingredients of the candy. How could she have done this to her kids? No wonder her kids didn't feel right, it was because of this candy, if you could even call it that. Emily felt sick to her stomach. You see one of the flavors on the candy was rotting flesh and dirty diapers. Emily's kids loved weird and wonderful candy like every other kid, but this was something else. She knew right there and then she had to chuck them away, so she did. And whenever her kids asked for candy again, she made sure she opted for a more friendly option. 